Hi everyone, welcome back to another week on the Brush by Brandy YouTube channel. This week we are working on this piece that's behind me. This one may look familiar to some of you guys because we actually put this one together um, on my weekly live videos together. So we went more in depth uh, during those videos. Go check them out if you want to see the process a little bit more in depth. Um, but this is a really cool piece. This was one I just got to play around with and I took my cues from the piece itself. So it's very mid-century. It's made by Drexel. My inspiration came kind of from a mid-century old Hollywood, maybe a smoking lounge with a lounge singer and cigarette smoke and some uh, ballroom gowns. And that's kind of what I was thinking. So you may notice I incorporated a little bit of sparkle with some gold leafing. Um, I've got this beautiful stencil that I've been dying to use and this was the perfect piece for it. It sort of had a bottom that was a frame that I felt like needed to frame out something really special and so I chose this gold leaf design. Um, these sort of grays in the neutral family kind of reminds me of cigarette smoke. Um, so I think it kind of all comes together in the end. It's got a little bit of everything and I hope you guys enjoy this process. Let's get started. I love pieces that have a story and oh boy does this one ever uh, the story being that it's been in my inventory for about five years now and I don't know why but I'm guessing that people just could not overlook these old ugly gold emblems that were on the front of it but they're totally removable. I actually purchased this piece in a set so I also have the long dresser that I'll do later as a separate project um, but I'm going to go ahead and start off by removing all of the hardware and that's going to mean those ugly old nugget clusters and then I'm going to take off the little emblems in the front and of course the um, pulls as well. Those gold clusters left a little bit of glue on the front of my piece so I used a razor blade scraper to scrape that away. Once all that glue residue was gone I'm ready to go ahead and start giving my piece a good cleaning. I thoroughly cleaned this piece and figured out pretty quickly that this was going to be a bleeder. So I rinsed away all my cleaning residue with some water and next up I need to give this one um, some primer. I used Wiseau primer in light gray. It's a perfect primer for this. It's going to block in all those old wood tannins so that they don't seep through and discolor my paint finish over time. And it's also a great base for the gray paint colors that I plan to use on this piece. I'm using Annie Sloan paint here and I'm using a gradation of gray. So I'm going to start out with her darkest gray, which is graphite. I have a little bit of Athenian black in this. Um, also some Paris gray is my lightest gray and one of her newest colors, which is called Whistler gray. All of these grays have slightly different undertones. Grays can lean a little bit to the blue. They can lean a little bit to the purple. They can be a little bit warm and lean to the browns. And all of these have slightly different undertones, but they work really well together. I started off my paint finish by giving my darkest color around the outer edges and then I'm going to slowly fade to my lightest color in the center. Only on this piece I don't want a perfectly smooth blend. I'm going for sort of a soft smoky look like a like an old smoking lounge sort of old Hollywood was my inspiration. Maybe a gold evening gown and a lounge singer. That's kind of where I'm going in my head. So I'm going to use different brush strokes to kind of create this smoky finish versus a smooth blend. And I'm swirling my brush with those swirls. I'm going to slowly move from the outside um, in and then I'm going to reverse and move from the inside out. And by reversing that I'm pulling those colors into each other and creating this soft blend. While my paint dries, let's go ahead and pay attention to some hardware. I'm going to go ahead and pour some gold molds using Redesign with Prima silicone molds. And I'm using this gold dust powder from Alumalite. I'm also using Amazing Casting Resin from Alumalite. I mixed equal parts A and B into a cup and then I'm going to pour them into my silicone mold. And this is going to take about 10 minutes to dry. Back to my dresser, my paint is going to need a second coat. And so I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process and do a second coat of paint. I love this piece because it's got this sort of frame around the bottom of the front and I feel like when pieces have frames like this it needs to frame something out. So I've got something planned for the center of this um, dresser but I want to go ahead and create a paint finish that's going to create a focal point on the center of this frame. The way I'm doing that is using this smoky paint finish and I'm going to use that light paint color in the center to highlight the center of this frame and that's going to set off the design that I have planned. Let's go ahead and throw on some music and I'm going to go ahead and finish up this second coat of paint.
For working colors together over a large surface like this, I do like to use a very large um, synthetic bristle brush and I'm swirling my paint colors together. This is my dry neutral brush and I'm just using this brush to work them together. This is the one and a half inch round from Wiseau. So what do I have planned for the front of this piece? I'm gonna use this gorgeous stencil that I absolutely love. This is from Royal Design Stencils. The name of this one is called Lisa Betta Damask, and I'll add the link to this in the description for this post, along with links for everything else that I'm using. And I'm going to use a foam dabber, and I'm going to dab on a little bit of gold leaf adhesive from Redesign with Prima. When I pull my stencil away, it reveals the design just left in the adhesive, and now I'm going to cover that design up using this gold leaf from Redesign. I'm gently placing my gold leaf over the adhesive places that I have, and I don't have to be perfect about it. It's okay if there's wrinkles in it. I actually want this to be kind of an old vintage design, like it's peeking through the smoke a little bit. Before placing your gold leaf over the adhesive, you do want to let the adhesive set up for just a few minutes so that it gets nice and tacky. Once all that leaf is on, I go ahead and let my adhesive dry completely, and then I'm going to come back with a brush and brush away all my excess leaf, and it's going to reveal that stencil design. Some areas can be more separate than others and take a little bit more brushing. And of course, there's a lot of leaf that's on the floor. You can go ahead and collect those. I just use a vacuum and pick those up. So let's come back to all the molds that I made. I'm going to attach these medallions to the center of this and it's got this circular design and they fit these medallions perfectly. I'm gonna use some clamps to hold them on and I use my tight bond quick and thick adhesive um, as my glue. You'll remember in the beginning of the video, I also made these other long medallions. Um, you're going to notice that I ended up taking them off. I felt like it was just a little bit too much and it kind of overpowered the piece. But I'm going to go ahead and frame out these frames using a little bit of gold decor wax from Redesign with Prima. This color is called Eternal. I apply the decor wax just by rubbing it on with my fingertip and it goes on evenly. So here you can see the dresser with the medallions at the top and what I did is I went ahead and used a photo editing app and I just took them out of the photo and that told me that I liked it better without them so I went ahead and just removed them while that glue was still fresh. Gold leaf can have a possibility of tarnishing under certain water-based clear coats and so I want to make sure to prevent that. I'm going to go ahead and seal this with a coat of shellac before I put my water-based clear coat over the top of it. I had sanded down the very top of this piece to a raw wood and I'm going to do a raw wood finish on this. Only I don't want a dark wood stain, I want sort of a bleached wood look, and so I'm going to do a paint wash on it. I start out by saturating my wood with a little bit of water, and then I'm going to use um, Annie Sloan paint, and this color is called Country Gray. I brush on a diluted coat of Country Gray over the entire top of my piece, making sure to keep it wet the entire time I'm working with it. I don't want the paint to start setting up, because once I'm done wiping it on, I'm going to come back with a rag, and I'm going to wipe all the excess away that's going to leave just the Country Gray in the wood grain of this piece, and it's going to give me a soft look of bleached wood. No piece is ever complete for me without adding some black wax detailing, and so I'm going to use the black wax on the sides of this piece and also on the front to frame out any moldings that I have. I start out by adding my black wax into the innermost crevice and then I'm going to use a slightly larger wax brush and I'm going to blend that wax out a little bit. I am applying my black wax onto raw paint but if you feel a little more comfortable you can also seal your paint and then apply the black wax over the top. That gives you a little bit more control in wiping it back. I've come to find that I just really like how the black wax takes to raw chalk paint. With all my wax detailing complete, this piece is almost done, but I need to put it out for some clear coat. I'm going to spray this using two coats of Annie Sloan Clear Coat. I'm applying my clear coat using a pneumatic sprayer attached to a compressor. This gives the really most refined clear coat possible using a sprayer to apply it. You can also brush or sponge this on very easily though. This dresser is complete. I often get asked why I choose gold leaf over using, say, a gold decor wax or gold paint. Well, nothing catches the light like gold leafing. You can see how it just sparkles and it has a glow to it. So this piece is absolutely beautiful. I think it catches the vibe that I was going for. I stage it using some gold decor um, in an old birdhouse to kind of capture some mystery to it. You guys can, can find links for everything I use in the description for this post. And you can find more Brush by Brandy on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube, and on my website at brushbybrandy.com. Don't forget to click that subscribe button.